Hello and welcome to another one of our conversations with our icons and heroes. Today, the um, 24th, 25th of um, June, we are sitting with uh, Mr. Gabriel John Roberts. Mr. Roberts will not be um, new to most of you because he's been, he's had a very distinguished career and he has worked in education. Now, your hosts today are the same as before, Professor Abdullah Sen, and um, my name is Baba Silla. Mr. Roberts, good evening and welcome to our conversation. First of all, could you please tell us a bit about where you were born, your age, um, your early childhood, adolescence, and where you grew up? Well, I was born in Banjul in 1926. In 1926, I was in Banjul. Uh, I was schooling was at, um, I went to high school, uh, Middleton Boys High School, and um, in 1948, and from there I went to do a teacher training in, in Ghana, in Westy College, Kumasi, in Ghana, and from Westy College I came back to Gambia, taught at my alma mater, the, uh, the boys' high school, and um, in 1953 I went to St. Andrews University, for the, 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 the course and so on. Yeah. Um, from St. Andrews University, I went to Leicester University for my postgraduate uh, certificate in education, especially in the teaching of mathematics. Yeah. And uh, from there, I came back to, uh, to, to, to Gambia to, to, to my alma mater and taught at the, at the boys' high school. In 1958, they had uh, the two Methodist high schools, the boys' high school and the girls' high school, were amalgamated to become the Gambia High School. Uh, and um, uh, if we, I was um, well, uh, the appointed uh, head of the English department in that, in that school, the Gambia High School, it was a, a sixth form school. A six form school, I was uh, uh, um, uh, head of the, the department there. Yeah. Yeah, so, well, from, from, the, from that term, um, I, I was appointed wanted to Armitage, Armitage School. And my mandate was to transform that school from a junior secondary to senior secondary school, yes. which I did by reorganizing the um, uh, the cu curriculum, the uh, syllabus, and so on, and aligning to the um, uh, West African Grounds Council standards and so on. And so, uh, only it became a, uh, a part of the West African Grounds Council's schools um, to take to take the exams. Uh, a lot of people remember you at Armitage. I went to Armitage after you'd left, but um, Dr. Sen was there when you were there. So he still has some vivid recollections of you as the principal. Yes. And when I came there, you'd left a legacy. Everybody talked about Mr. Roberts and um, your fair-mindedness. Well, um, I had a very good set of students in, the, in Armitage. Yes. And um, as I was a dramatist, I produced a lot of plays mm -hmm. with, with them and so on. Um, and uh, I can remember them quite, quite well. Uh, very, very intelligent. Quite a number of the, I mean, like yourself, you know, uh, come out successfully. And um, as icons yourselves, you know, come out very successful and so on. So I'm very proud of the uh, I mean, just go. Well, um, I was amateur. I wrote the um, plays mm -hmm. uh, which were broadcast by the BBC. Yes. 
Le, le président de Basque, on va le vivre ici. Le seul Gambien qui a été le président de Basque, on va le vivre ici. Le seul Gambien. Non, avant, non, après. Oui, c'est un peu plus tard. Oui. À part de ça, vous avez écrit dans d'autres places aussi. Vous avez écrit dans d'autres places Oui, tous les deux Basque, on va le vivre ici, on va le vivre ici, on va le vivre ici. One man, one wife. Yes, one man, one wife. Those two were, uh, well, the others I wrote, you know, Manangero in Britain, Manangero returns home, and Senegambian myth. The Senegambian myth was uh, a very controversial one. Yes. You know, the ambassador of Senegal attended the, 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 the production, yes. and um, he raised some objections to uh, what I wrote and wrote all the government about this. And uh, the play was discussed in cabinet. I remember the late Hassan Musa Kamara was um, Minister of Education. So I went to see him, what was happened about this, my play, the, 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 the cabinet. He said, well, yes, there was a letter from the ambassador. What we received this letter, we acknowledge it, but we, I shouldn't bother about it. Because um, I was doing the right thing, and what I did, what I did was good. And um, I could go and produce, uh, I could re re repeat the performance if I wanted to. So, yes. what was what was Senegal's gripe or gripes about the, 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 the play? Well, I um, mentioned that um, there are strategic points in Senegal from which infiltrators could uh, could come into the Gambia. Yeah, and, um, and I presume um, people like Hugo Samasan made use of that. Mm -hmm. uh, now, when you grew up in Banjuru, you must have been influenced. Positive influences, influences. Who influenced you as you were growing up? Well, my influence came from Ghana. From Ghana? Yes. The uh, lecturer at uh, Wesley College. Yes. It was a man who had some physical disability. Yes. He never went to normal school. Uh -huh. But he was able to rise up to take university degrees. Uh -huh. uh, on, uh, on his own, he studied and got uh university. -huh. So, in fact, from, uh, from him, uh, I had an inspiration. Uh -huh. So when I returned to Gambia to undertake um, uh, private studies and took uh, external degree exams from, from the London University. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I had interest from him. You know. And uh, quite a lot of things I did uh, came from the university. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the poetry and drama bit, where did that come from? The poetry? The po your poetry and your drama, where did that influence come from? Oh, the poems are my, my inferences. Yes. You know, this, uh, I did, de de delegated this to my granddaughter. Mm. The first poem there in that, in, in that service is, is called Sophia. Mm -hmm. yeah, and you know, she's called, I you know, dedicated that the, the, the book to her. To her. Yeah. Okay, you've had a very distinguished career in education in this country. Um, you've gone through all the ranks as director of education, principal, uh, and uh, ha have you worked in other areas of education apart from? Yeah, uh, I, uh, not in the, uh, well, I worked at, um, at the IPPA, IPPA, the International Planned Parenthood Federation, yes. as assistant regional director yes. in Kenya okay. for about three years. And you didn't get a chance to meet with um, the playwrights there, and people who were in the theatre at the time? Who was it? Did you meet people like Ngugi Wa Thiongo and all those Kenyan writers? And, uh, you know what I read in? I read Ngugi Wa Thiongo for right, yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, while you were here in the Gambia, um, politics 
started to move out of, out of the polite drawing rooms and into the streets. This was in the 50s. Um, were you anyway, shape or form, a part of that? Were you anyway part of that movement? What movement? Movement towards selfhood, towards independence? Uh, no, well, um, well, um, no, not, 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 not for the independence. Uh, yeah. uh, okay. But um, I was part of the Constitutional Review Commission. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From when we were transferring from um, the First to Second Republic. Yeah. Okay. And did you stay on? Yeah. Or did you move? To something else after that. Did I? Did you continue with that after the review of the constitution? Is uh, that uh, no? Uh, after my participation in the, in the um, review of the constitutional Constitution review, I was made uh, chairman of the Independent Electoral Commission. Yes. Uh, um, we are and uh, arranged for the the, um, the referendum. On the um, on the constitution, mm -hmm. the coin, and uh, also to arrange the first um, election. Yes. Of uh, yeah, Jamed and he was. Uh, Did you feel very comfortable with that new constitution? That which which constitution? This one. The one that you had reviewed. Yes, yes. Um, in fact, um, uh, it was. Um, Modified when we submitted the constitution, I think um, the government removed things like the uh, two year, uh, two term, two term limits, which was the uh, express um, wish of every village you went to. They wanted uh, uh, two, two, two term limits for, for the president, but it, it was removed from the constitution, the report we submitted. Removed from it. Okay. Yeah. Was there anything else that was removed from the constitution apart from that? Yeah, I can't, can't think of it. I can't think of anything else now. But uh, that was uh, this was very peculiar. It was uh, outstanding. That was uh, yes, obviously yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, did you protest? Did you say <laughs> no? No. Well, um, it was the people, people accepted it. You know, it was removed, and uh, before the the uh, referendum, yeah, okay. referendum, uh, it was uh, uh, circulated, mm -hmm. and the people saw it and accepted okay. the uh, concern without the the term limits indicated. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you move from there to become the chairman of the Independent Electoral Commission, is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. What was your experience there? Well, I think um, we have a very good um, uh, electoral system. The, the marbles is just primitive, but um, foolproof. Uh, and um, it's difficult to cheat with, um, with, uh, with, with that uh, Marvel arrangement, mm -hmm. uh, and um, I supervised it, and we went through the all the elections I supervised. They still using it, the the Marvel, you know, in the with the present um, uh, electoral commission still using it. I think that it, it's one that should be accepted. It's um, it uh, overcomes the literacy. Mm -hmm. It is the aspect. Yes. If, if you do, you don't have to understand English or whatever you to be able to to vote. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and um, I understand there were no quarrels about the the pebble and the and the ballot. Oh. Apparently, apparently there there were no quarrels about it. But then people were very concerned about how people got the vote. From what, I, what we gather, a lot of people had national identity cards 
that were not issued out properly. In fact, a lot of people in the neighboring country had national identity cards, and as a result, they were entitled to vote. So this is where, where a lot of the cheating took place, from what we gather. Do you have any, uh, will you corroborate that? The, the um, uh, national uh, um, identity cards yeah. were symbolized by the uh, IEC, and I think it was, it was um, uh, proper to correct the record. Some people may have got, um, got through uh, the back door or something. Yeah, but um, um, those that were uh, endorsed and properly issued, you know, were used uh, effectively. Okay. Um, let me take you back a bit uh, to an aspect of our history, which, we, which seems now very remote and distant. And that is the origin of the Creos in this country. Um, and I'm wondering if it's possible for you to sort of trace any part of your ancestry to um, Sierra Leone, Banjul, Georgetown, or even Berwick Town in, in uh, at Barra. I was a member of the West Southern Resistance Council. Yes. Yeah, I was um, vice chairman and chairman of the exam council for some time for a while. And uh, so I had um, <coughs> uh, visitors to Sierra Leone, Ghana, Nigeria, Liberia. Yeah, we were all members of the exam council. How long was your stint at exams council? Because how long did you stay? How did at you stay? Exams council. Well, <clears throat> um, it was uh, the chairmanship of the exams council rotated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for the, the countries, um, uh, Sierra Leone, Ghana, Nigeria, Liberia, you know, all rotated. Each year you have a new uh, chairman each election. Ah, okay. You know, and the, the director of education, or well, the permanent secretary, was usually the vice chairman of the council. So I was vice chairman of the council for a number of years. Yes. yes. And um, uh, with the, the council had some problems, <clears throat> and the chairman, uh, chairman uh, of the board, and I became chairman for a short period yeah. Yeah. of the of the exams council. Yeah. But I, I remember talking about exams council. You were also an examiner for the exams council. I was an examiner. Oh yes, I was an examiner, a chief examiner for the English. I had uh, English um, oral uh, English. Spoken English. Yes, I had you as my examiner for my oral English or exams English, yes. at O level. Yes, so I was. I was chief examiner then. Yes, I remember. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so, what do you do now in your? Well, what do you do now in your spare time? Now well, that you have I do very little. I okay. just um, listen to radio. Yes. In radio, do exercises. Yes. And uh, I, I'm not able to read properly now. The normal, my normal. Um, Normal script. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. do you have access to e-books? Access. Access to electronic books, talking books. Uh, I only one such I had, you know, from the set. But there was some limitation in getting uh, materials for it. Okay. I have not met very many people who are like you in this country who's, who've had a distinguished literary career. 
Um, I can only think of um, Janet, Janet Bajanion, who's into the theater, and uh, she staged one of your plays. Yeah, Janet. Janet Bajan? You yeah, know? Janet, Janet Bajan. Yes, yes. It's yes. Indian church, huh? Yes. Are there any other people, your contemporaries around, who are doing similar things, or are they still around? That you have contact with? No, uh, uh, the ones that I'm aware of are in private practice, mm -hmm. uh, like James George, an yes. engineer. Yes. Engineer and so on. Yeah. Um, Do you have friends around here in your neighborhood? Do you have friends? Do you have friends around in your neighborhood? Um, no, not. I was the only one here for a long, long while. Yeah. Uh, across the road here is um, a Mr. Powell. Uh, you remember the O.J. Simpson case in the Yes, States? yes. His, his brother was a lawyer. Ah, so, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He, he lives in the States, but he comes sometimes from here. Yes. He's yes. just across the road. Okay. Yes, we know him. Yeah. We know him. Yes, I know him. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, what, what kind of message do you want to leave the younger generation of writers and uh, the country for the future? I would like to see them participate more in the, um, in the, uh, the um, short stories and plays advertised by the BBC mm -hmm. for production. Yes. Because uh, it's, it's a shame that I'm the only one who has been able to produce uh, uh, plays by the, by the BBC. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think we have more of them that we have from. Mm -hmm. Overall, what do you think of Gambia? You've been here at the beginning, before independence and thereafter. Are you optimistic? Are you disappointed? What is your take? What's your overall assessment? Of Gambia. Gambia, yes. I think there are possibilities. Possibilities, yes. There are possibilities of imp improvement, yeah. Well, on that note, Mr. Roberts, we want to thank you for your time mm. um, and for spending time with us. Yeah. And uh, this video will serve a very good purpose. Mm. Um, and probably will be here for a long time for your grandchildren, great grandchildren, and thereafter to watch yeah. you yeah. when they read your works mm -hmm. and uh, your contribution in education and many other things. Yeah. And uh, they will they will put your your face against your work, which is one of the objectives. So we thank you very much yeah. for your time. I have one final question for him. What is the secret of your longevity? <laughs> what is it? The secret of your longevity and your strength and your tenaciousness? Well, uh, exercise. Exercise. Exercise, exercise mainly, yes. And, What's uh, your diet like? What, what kind of food do you like? What do you eat? Um, uh, no, I don't, I don't drink much of rice. Not much rice. I did couscous. Couscous. Oh, yes. uh, take my, you know, okay. That's what I think. Uh, nice. yeah. Apparently, couscous is very good. It's very good. Very good. And, yeah. and, and the exercise. And the exercise. So you walk a lot. I do, do really. Okay. Because yeah. I've seen you a few times on the beach. Oh, yeah. I usually yeah. walk on the beach. Yes. 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 I've yes. seen you a few times yeah. over there. Yeah. Well, it is a pleasure to sit with you, having yes. met you in 1962. Okay. When you were the principal at Armitage, oh, that was my first year at Armitage. Okay. And of course, uh, we held you and still hold you in oh. very high esteem. Okay. So thank you for allowing us into your home yeah. and having this conversation with you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so, so you are difficult in finding a place. Yeah, well, it was not easy. But no, no, we that's fine. We found, we found it. it. We found it. <laughs> <laughs> we found we found it. it.